it sure is nice being back here in Sanford. Well, the first thing I did when I got back here in town is I've got my Uncle Tooth. He and I went up there to Mel's Diner and we got us some coffee and we're sitting in there just shooting the shit. This big old color boy come walking in and he's got a parrot on his shoulder. Big old fucking Amazon parrot too. And Mel, the guy who runs the diner, he says, Get that filthy fucking animal out of my restaurant. I don't play that shit. <laughs> and the parrot says, Well, where the fuck am I supposed to sit? <laughs> I'm about to die laughing. Smart alecky parrot. Hey, did you hear about the biker that traded his wife in for a shit house? Yeah, well, the hole was a lot smaller and it smelt a lot better. Get her done! Lord forgive me, that was wrong. Well, anyways, this old boy, he he was sitting there in his easy chair. His ma, his little daughter come in there and she says, Daddy, can I go to the dance? He says, go to the dance? Well, if you want to go to the dance, you know what you need to do. She says, all right. So she reaches out there and she pulls this thing out of his drawers and she just starts giving him one hell of a blowjob. She goes, Daddy, she says, I don't mean to be disrespectful or anything, but your dick tastes like shit. Why does your dick taste like shit? And Daddy says, well, <laughs> your brother wanted to go to the dance too. Oh, <laughs> boy. Get her done. You know, that was wrong. I remember back here in this town, this was the first place I ever got me some pussy. That's right. I was about 16 years old. Now I was back in my room. I had this big old gal in there. I was just going to town, boy. I was slicing on that turd cutter. I mean, I had one hand in there like I was hanging off for eight seconds. Boy, I was getting it. My mama come walking in. She says, Jerry, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I'm getting me some, Mama. I'm getting me some. She says, well, have some respect for this house. That's your sister. Put a condom on. Get her done. Lord, that was wrong. Well, I've been on the road for so long, I wasn't feeling too good. So I went to Doc Johnson, and he's an old country doctor. I said, Doc, what's wrong with me? He says, you ain't going to believe this, Jerry. But he says, but there's been a rash of people coming in here with tapeworms. I said, tapeworms? He goes, yeah. He says, you'd be surprised how many people get these here tapeworms. I said, well, how in the fuck did I get it? He goes, oh, probably just eating some old rotten pussy or uncooked food, you know, poor hygiene, shit like that. That's what causes it. I said, well, goddamn, Doc, how do I get rid of it? He says, well, this here's an old country trick. He says, there ain't no modern medicine that can actually get rid of a tapeworm, but I can get rid of them. I said, well, how you going to do that, Doc? Doc says, well, here's what you do. You pull down your pants, and you bend over. And I've got an old uncircumcised dick here. And when I slap it on your asshole, that tapeworm's going to look out your ass, and he's going to see that uncircumcised dick and think it's another tapeworm, and he's going to come out and try to mate with it. And well, when he does, I'm going to grab him and pull him on out. I said, all right, Doc. I said, I ain't too happy about the way that sounds, but since it's... A uh, medical procedure. Uh, I'll, I'll go along with it. Well, I bent on over an old doc. He's slapping my ass with that uncircumcised dick of his. Next thing I know, doc's just bearing his dick all the way in my ass, all the way to his balls. I said, Doc, what the fuck are you doing? He says, the tape weren't come out, Jerry. Kissed it and went back in. He's playing hard to get, so I have to go in after him. Yeah, I think I got him, though. I said, Hold on. I heard the doc. He went, Ah! I said, Doc, you okay? He goes, yeah, tapeworm bit me. Well, I said, okay. So I looked back there, and they're hanging off the doctor's dick. I said, what the hell is that, Doc? He says, that's a tapeworm. You know something? That tapeworm looked just like a used rubber. I never would have guessed in a million years that one of them things looked like that. But hell, I ain't so embarrassed about it, because that was a medical procedure, and uh, I can live with it. Get her done. Just hope it don't happen to y'all. Well, shit, boy. I was, got drunk the other night. I come home and I slap my wife. And I tell you what, that's something you shouldn't do. Don't ever come home and slap your old lady around because you will go to jail. That's right, and fucking cops come and take your ass right to motherfucking jail. Well, anyways, I had been in jail, boy, and I tell you what, you get horny when you're in jail. And this old boy, he was in there, he goes, Ain't you Jerry the Cable Guy? I said, Yeah, you want to suck my dick? He says, 
Yeah, so I, anyways, I let him suck my dick. And by golly, I tell you what, I felt really bad about that, but since you're in jail, you're supposed to, you know, you, what do you do? Well, I tell you what, it's a good thing my brother come and posted bail, because another three hours of that shit, I don't know where this shit would have gone. Get her done. But that was just wrong. I'm telling you, I'm having a whole lot of fun here. Well, hell, you know, when you're on the road, it's hard being faithful. It surely is. I was at the Waffle House the other night. And I tell you what, this this one old gal, she was the prettiest Waffle House waitress I'd ever seen in my life. I ain't lying, boy. She looked good. Get her done. And I said to her, I said, honey, I said, you want to go up to my room after you get off work? Drink some whiskey, fool around. She says, well, I'll get off work right now. So we went up there to the hotel room there at the Days Inn. My golly. I was down there just eating that pussy. And I tell you, I love to eat me some pussy. Yes, sir. Get her done. Love eating pussy. Well, anyways, I was down there and I was just lapping that up. Goddamn, a couple of pieces of scrambled egg fell out. Well, I spit them out. I didn't think much of it because she is working in the Waffle House. Eating a little bit while longer. Goddamn, a couple of pieces of toast and some hash browns fall out of there. <laughs> I said, baby, are you sick? She says, no, but the last trucker that was down there was, get her done. Well, I'll tell you, that's, that's just wrong. That's just, that's just really wrong. Hey, you know how the, you can tell that the toothbrush was invented in Sanford? Because if it had been invented anywhere else, it'd be called a teeth brush. <laughs> get her done. Boy, I've had so much fun here. Well, I'm telling you, I'm just working on my new movie. It's about a goddamn commercial fisherman. He's a nut job, and they have this fishing tournament, and during a thunderstorm, they uh, these goddamn pro bass fishermen, Orlando Wilson, you know, all the rest of all them guys that are on the outdoor network, they all come in there, and this guy goes crazy, and I play the murder. It's called Hook, Line, and Stinker, and I sodomize them all, too. That's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to have to bring the kids to see that. Well, anyways, this has been a lot of fun. Get her done. Help me, Lord. That just ain't right.